The world is rife with human rights abuses. We have a choice, either confront them or ignore them. We at Journalists for Human Rights are confronting these abuses in a new and powerful way that is showing tremendous results. We thought that the, what GHR represented was laudable and that's why we go on board. I worked on a documentary on domestic violence and uh, we focused on the marital rape profession which has generated a lot of uh, controversy. Journalists have to be part of the spreading of the concept of human rights. That's where something like Journalists for Human Rights comes in because it enables in, in strange and wonderful ways sometimes, uh, as I saw in Ghana, it enables the whole concept of human rights to become part of the journalism. We believe that the media hold the key to improving human rights around the world. The media is the most effective instrument for creating public support for human rights and Since for pressuring founded governments in 2002, to clean up their act. JHR has worked in Benin, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire and Canada. In Canada, we have chapters or clubs in schools across the country, engaging the next generation of Canadian journalists and leaders in human rights issues. In Africa, JHR works with local media organizations, offering formal training and assistance in publishing and airing human rights stories that have a real impact. It was um, a real eye-opener. I've had reports of women being abused in the, in, in, in the media, and it was, it was totally different speaking to somebody who had actually experienced uh, uh, violence. There are stories that affect ordinary people, which ordinarily you know want to cover or that, I mean, it doesn't even prick you, your, your, your attention doesn't get there, but every time it looks like there's always a storyline, something that is beautiful, that is interesting for our readers, you know, for our listeners, and it affects them personally and they can easily relate to it. But the question is, does the payment of dowry or bride price contribute to the inhuman way some men treat their wives? Cynthia Annan has been finding out. So many comments were made about it, some good, some bad, but on the whole, Every, everybody spoke about it and, you know, I, I, I was quite happy with the response. Our listeners have been very receptive to the PCs so far. That's why we've been looking at doing greater collaboration with JHR. I think the impact is just that people are thinking about other people and what other people are going through. And when you're able to do that um, and you become sensitive, then you want to change things. And that's the goal. In the fall of 2004, JHR sponsored a story in a Ghanaian newspaper on Abla Dosu, a victim of trocacy, the ritualistic enslavement of Vestal Virgin Girls. As a result of our story, there was a public outcry, and Abla was saved. Abla is not alone. In the last two years, JHR has increased human rights reporting in Ghana by over 50%. We have sent 58 journalists to Africa to help train local journalists to report effectively on human rights issues. And we have 450 young Canadian journalists and leaders involved in our programs. And now we need your support.